A smiling face in downtown Plattsburgh represents an uplifting message for everyone who sees it. It's the 12th completed mural from Outside Art, Plattsburgh Public Art Project, and the friendly grin belongs to astronaut Michael Anderson. Some productive months ahead for Outside Art will give us even more reasons to smile. Artist activists Amy Guglielmo and Julia Devine founded the organization in 2016. And here to enlighten us about that smile on Durkee Street is Julia Devine. Hello, Julia. Hi, Paul. When did you become aware that there was an astronaut who was from Plattsburgh? Uh, about a few years ago, uh, Amy and I always get suggestions from the community for walls for murals or for ideas. And Amy Bond, uh, who works a lot with local organizations, was actually the person who uh, introduced the idea of Michael Anderson to us. She thought this would be a great mural. We did too. Um, Amy Guglielmo grew up in Plattsburgh and had never heard of Michael Anderson before, and I'm a transplant, and I would have thought, oh, boy, I would want to know that an astronaut came from Plattsburgh. So we were both like, everyone in Plattsburgh needs to know that, you know, we have an astronaut in Plattsburgh, and it's Michael Anderson. It's great that a mural all came together. For what part of his life did Michael Anderson live in Plattsburgh? So Michael Anderson was born in 1959 in Plattsburgh and his father serviced jets at the Plattsburgh Air Force Base. He had then subsequently, his father was transferred to Washington State where he grew up, but then uh, he joined the Air Force and was back at the Plattsburgh Air Force Base uh, between 1992 and 1995. He was a, a, a pilot, an instructor, pilot and tactics officer with the 380th Air Refueling Wing at the Plattsburgh Air Force Base. And that was when he, uh, NASA had picked him for astronaut training. Well, he lived a very bright life, but Anderson's death was a tragic one. During his second space flight, after nearly 16 days in space in early 2003, the space shuttle Columbia disintegrated as it was re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Julia, was that element discussed much when you were deciding how the mural should honor him? Of course, that you know that was part of his story, his biography. But we we really focused more on who he was as a person, uh, from what we read and what we learned about him from people who knew him and his family, uh, was his character. He was an incredibly positive person, uh, and he was incredibly hardworking. And so when Brendan Palmer Angel chose a, a picture to. Uh, as an inspiration for what he would paint. He chose a picture of Michael smiling. You know, he, he loved what he did. He loved flying. He loved science. He loved space. In fact, I have a quote from him that I, that I love that I just, I just want to read. Um, he said, I'm having a great time. This is what I wanted to do since I was a little kid. I urge you all to remember that if you apply yourself, work hard to be persistent, and don't give up, you can achieve anything you want to achieve. And Amy and I just think that's such a wonderful message for our community, for our youth, uh, and just an inspiring person. And that's sort of what we wanted to convey, you know? And when I'm driving downtown and I often see the Michael Anderson mural or if I'm having a bad day and I see Michael smile, you know, it makes me want to smile too. That is a beautiful thought, Julia. You mentioned Plattsburgh native Brendan Palmer Angel. Let's hear what the artist had to say about Anderson's smile. He was so passionate about space. He had this joy that he exuded in all the photos that he had. That's something I was really drawn to, um, just the sense of kindness. And then uh, when I spoke with his wife on the phone, I asked her about all these photos where he's smiling. And she th said that's really who he was, that um, you know, in person he was really humble, just very human, unassuming. You would never know that he was an astronaut. You'd have to ask him. Julia, what made Brendan well-suited to paint this mural? Well, Brendan is a really, really gifted artist, especially at large-scale murals and portraiture. Uh, and we had worked with Brendan on the Jean Arthur mural the year before, uh, which is located in Protection Alley in downtown Plattsburgh. Brendan's also really passionate about painting uh, pictures of people who are often underrepresented in our community. So it really was the perfect project for him. I feel like it's really important to celebrate Michael Anderson right now, partially because of the, the divisions that we have um, in our world and in our country right now. 
Um, he was someone who was really dedicated to serving our country, but he also talked about serving humanity through science. There's this idea of the overview effect that I'm really interested in with space, um, where astronauts, once they're up looking down at Earth, they see it as sort of this one whole. For Michael Anderson, um, it really reaffirmed his faith in a creator and the beauty of the creation. Um, and I think for us right now, having that sort of transcendent, unifying perspective is, is really important for healing the kinds of divisions that we have. What kind of feedback are you getting from the community about the mural? Oh, it's been extremely positive. You know, the mural, you know, was finished during still COVID. And so it was a really wonderful thing for people in our community to see happen. And uh, it's a really fitting mural for our moment. You know, we we need to start building healthier and equitable communities. So, you know, caring for our planet, making sure we're inclusive and whose stories are we telling and who are we honoring? You know, for the 21st century, we can, you know, create new monuments. So we think the Michael Anderson mural is leading us in a good direction. I want to thank you so much, Julia, for all that you do to help make Plattsburgh, New York, a distinctive place where the arts are celebrated. Thank you so much, Paul, and to Mountain Lake PBS for always featuring outside art in the work that we do. We appreciate you as well. Outside art is doing a lot during a very productive year, coordinating art projects in downtown Plattsburgh. The rays of the smiling sun murals shine on a wall at the Strand Center for the Arts. The sculptural piece is by artist James Gullivach. Also, the splash mural now decorates the City of Plattsburgh Fire Department Station 2 on South Platt Street. More than 80 people from Clinton, Franklin, and Essex counties worked on this mural, including Station 2 firefighters, art teachers, and their students. The image includes a firefighter and silhouettes of children playing in water. The theme of water celebrates the life-saving resource that firefighters use every day. And this wall at 90 Bridge Street, the location of the Cat's Meow Thrift Shop, will host the Community Garden Mural, the 15th mural of outside art. During the next few weeks, local residents and members of the Autism Alliance of Northeastern New York will paint flowers, fruits, vegetables, and a few feline friends near the Plattsburgh Farmers and Crafters Market. And if you'd like to reach for the stars with the Michael Anderson mural face to face, you'll find him at 23 Durkee Street in Plattsburgh. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.